Hey guys, it's me, Julie. I'm back with another video. Um, we are going to continue looking at that awesome jewelry from before and um, from yesterday, excuse me, the really good steal of a deal that I'm passing on to you guys. Um, I think we've all been enjoying it. It's been awesome. Anyway, a couple of videos ago, I tried to say this word <laughs> and I butchered it. So I went on, I had some people help me in the comments. Thank you guys for that. And then I also went to like a pronunciation video on YouTube and it is pronounced Chalcedony. Cal said, the accents on the said, no, Cal se, accent on the se, do ni, Chalcedony. I believe I'm saying it right now. It was for a sterling silver cross with like this pretty green, um stone in it that's like the color of my eyes they're like that color um i was born in august so peridot is my birthstone and my eyes match my birthstone isn't that funny anyway um moving right along so it's this light green kind of cloudy stone um maybe it was a light jade if you remember the piece it was um like i said a sterling silver cross uh, but that's how you pronounce that word so i wanted to correct that calcedony Chalcedony. <laughs> Probably still ruining it, but oh, this book is this, guys. Kristen D recommended it um, a long time ago on her channel, and I bought it. And it's pretty good. Um, if I used it more, it would be even better. Um, but when I do need it, I pull it out, or when I do remember it, I should say, I pull it out and use it, and it's good. So, anyway, um, so if you're looking to learn more about stones, that might be the way to do it. Um, okay, so if you're new to my videos, uh, pause the video now. This will tell you exactly how to buy something um, if you're so inclined. So um, something I wanted to talk about, um, shipping. So if you can just bear with me for a second. I just want to talk about shipping because I think a lot of people that don't ship all the time aren't aware of postage rates and all that. So maybe buying something might seem like a little scary because who knows how much it's going to cost to ship. So basically all shipping in the United States under a pound, okay, is $4.50 to $6.50, um, $4.50 to $6.50, depending on where you are in the country from me. I'm on the East Coast. So um, that being said, when I ship, do your invoicing on Saturday, you've been able to collect all that stuff during the week that you like to purchase, and then you get um, your shipping rate, uh, shipping at the end of the week with everything combined. So now that doesn't mean a lot to people too that don't measure, weigh things. So I'm gonna show you this little pile of rings. It is one, two, three, four, five, six sterling silver rings. This was two ounces, you guys. So you can get up to 15 ounces for around five bucks. So just so you know, it's a good pile of jewelry, unless you buy a lot of stone or glass that's heavier, um, that you can get in a box for five bucks. So I just wanted to let you know that in case you're not somebody who ships and not somebody who understands all the weights and all that stuff. And then from there, when you hit a pound, it's usually between nine and $15, depending on where you live, till you hit like two pounds again. Okay, which we don't usually get up to. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the professor. I forgot to do that, excuse the beep. All right, that was a lot of talking. Let's start with this guy. Um, this is the ring from yesterday. It is sterling, we tested it. The marking inside is CF Berglund. And then it says sterling written out. So it's probably a vintage piece, I'm guessing. We're gonna do it for $12. I'm not showing you the piece. <laughs> it's a size seven and a half. The markings are all on the inside. Um, I don't think this, I thought this might have been like black and silver at one point, just because how it looked inside, but it's not, I don't think. It rubbed off super easy, just like tarnish. Um, now, just be aware, you can see a little glue right here. It looks like somebody repaired. That might be factory, but you can see a little bit of glue right there. So be aware of this. It's really pretty. I don't know if those are faux or real pearls. It's a size seven and a half, twelve dollars, and I just started my camera, guys, and then I was like, oh, I forgot to do this and this. I forgot to get a drink. I forgot to. <laughs> okay, twelve dollars on that guy, guys. I remembered things I wanted to tell you. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, we're gonna start with a box. The boxes are usually pretty cool. 
what's in here gorgeous collar necklace it is enamel it needs a little wipe down for sure but it is in very good shape it's um an ivory color uh fold over clasp let's see it is monet you guys that's an upside down monet but it is monet should we go right side up we shall cool let's put it on the bust bust out the bust da -da. Ooh, ooh, pretty pretty collar necklace okay let's um get a total length on this and so it's a little bit of a curve here can you guys see it it doesn't really come out so this is what i do in that case and it's probably not an exact science but it is the best i kind of line up my tape it's the best i've found is what i should say i line up my tape and kind of hold it as i go um and see where we end up and i would say this is a 14 inch total length you guys 14 inch total length here we go i think it's really pretty i'm going to do this one for eight dollars and it will come in a lovely box for you look at that cool okay eight dollars on the monet put that over there <laughs> you guys i was remembering to tell you something else too i don't know what the heck i was talking about in the last video saying i grew up in the 90s i mean i kind of did i spent most of my childhood in the 80s <laughs> like if you do any of those quizzes like if you're a child of the 80s you'll know all these things those are the ones i understand from toys and stuff but my teen years and my college years were in the 90s. So if you want like music and stuff like that, it's early 90s. <laughs> I was a little confused. I don't know what I was doing. So anyway, there we go. Gorgeous. I think these are wood, you guys. That's what I'm going with. I'm going with wood. This is really nice. Um, and these guys are silver tone. Silver tone. I was just watching a Kristen v D video. Um, and I cannot tell what tone things are through the camera. I think it's just my eyes. So she said something was gold tone. And I was like, no way. I'm totally seeing silver. So I try to remember to tell you guys that because I know I have a hard time. Uh, $5 on that one. But sometimes I forget. So if you ever have a question, just email me. Okay, you guys? And this video, um, these, this video series, I would email fast if you want something. Like even multiple emails during the video, I don't mind that if you see something you like because things are selling fast. Um, this is really pretty. I would say this is like a very light gold tone. I think they were calling this beige gold for a little while. Um, it's really cool. Look at how chunky this guy is. Oh, it's Kenneth Cole. Cool, Kenneth Cole reaction. You got a little extender there. I like that. Um, I'm going to give you a drop uh, with the extender, you guys. Drop with the extender is like eight and a quarter. And this pendant is a little chunker. It's like two and a quarter inches tall. This is nice. I like this a lot, actually. It's pretty. It's a cool tone. I bet that you would look wicked tan with this on. <laughs> Like in the summertime with this on your skin, I bet if you have light skin like me, whoop. Oh, look at Lace Bruce, huh? Bryn did that. I couldn't even tell you really how though. I just, they just show up and then I'm like, oh. <laughs> um, anyway, I bet if you have light skin like me, this might look, look make you look tan. Anyway, um, let's do, let's do uh, $7 on the Kenneth Cole. $7. Okay. Good stuff so far, you guys. Good stuff. Ooh, I think I know someone who's going to like these. Someone who always buys all the little dainties. These are lever backs, you guys. See the little lever back? I'm just making sure they close correctly. They don't. Okay, so, so if you look, this is closing like further in. Um, you can usually fix that with a little bend. And let's check. And now it's just offside. There we go. All better. So pretty, you guys. I think maybe we should um, stick the magnet on these for sure. Uh, do we see any markings? I don't. Oh, there is a marking right here, you guys. Um, 
I don't know what that says. I'll try my lens, but sometimes I don't know about this lens. Uh, come on, baby. Guys, I can't find the sweet spot here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to look with my um, loop. So give me one second. It says, oh, okay. It says Gem, J-E-M, 925CZ China. Okay, so I think these are probably going to be 925. Let's give them a little magnet test. Sometimes the magnet will be attracted here, guys, um, and nowhere else because they'll use pieces in that hinge that aren't 925, but this one is not. Okay, let's put them up there. We'll test them at the end. Woohoo! Oh, and at the super, super end of the video, you guys, I'm going to try to include a couple purses. I'm saying try because I'm not sure how my setup is going to work. So if you don't see purses, it was a fail. <laughs> Look at this cool piece. Um, could use a wipe down for sure. It's pretty cool though. I like it. I love this chain. Look at that. Love it. And I think I saw a marking. Where did I see that? Oh, here it is. And it says, whoops, sorry. I hope I didn't make you seasick. Trafari. Very cool. I'm, oh, hit the thing. I'm going to look and make sure there's not a crown over there. Nope, there's no crown over the T, so it is regular Trafari. Oh, uh, let's put it on the bust to get the full effect. Check that out. I like that. So it looks like it's probably going to be a little longer than that collar one that we were looking at earlier. This is really pretty. I'm going to give you the drop on this one since it kind of goes down to a, a pendant here. Not really a pendant, but a piece, a station. How about that? Like a seven inch drop, guys. So it is on the shorter side. Really beautiful. Uh, let's do let's do seven dollars. Seven dollars. Steals of deals. All right, let's see what this is. So we have another knotted. Oh, this is neat. Oh, I love how it sounds. Do you guys hear it? <laughs> gotta use all your senses with jewelry guys you gotta smell the sterling because it stinks <laughs> you gotta hear the glass okay it has one of those kind of cord knots that you can just slide to make it smaller or larger which i just learned on tiktok how to knot this to put like a scarf in your hair to make one of these knots on the back side i was like so enthralled like i have to do this these are really cool. Um, I'm not sure. I, I actually don't think they're glass. I think they're acrylic, but they're they're making a cool sound like they're glass. Very pretty. They're like um, a forest green with almost a little blue hint. Really, really pretty. Um, let's see it on the bus. It's probably not going to show up very well because of the dark color. Ooh, I like that, you guys. I like that. Um, we're going to do this one for $5. $5. That is really pretty. Okay, this one stumped me. I need my friends. We're gonna throw it on the gem tester just for the heck of it. I don't know. I might not even price this until you guys tell me what you think it is. <laughs> okay, it's heavy, like it's a stone or ceramic. It has all this little pitting. The pitting makes me think it's not coral, but I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know what it is. It's cool to the touch. Let's put it on the gem tester, see if it does anything. I don't, if it's coral, I don't think it does anything. It's just barely hitting on that tourmaline garnet iolite line. I don't know what this is. So anybody, if anybody has an idea, now the only reason I pause about giving you guys a price is because if this is angel, angel skin coral, which I'm questioning, if it is angel skin coral, coral, it's very expensive, okay? So that's why I'm kind of questioning it. I just don't know what it is. I wish you guys could feel it. I'm trying to see if these metal pieces are magnetic. I either can't get close enough or they don't seem to be. 
these pieces definitely aren't, probably aren't sterling. I try not to say definites anymore because I'm always wrong. <laughs> um, aren't sterling, but those could have been replaced. They kind of look like they do. They look newer than the necklace. Anyway, tell me what you think, guys. And I'm going to try to do some more research and see if we can come up with a number tomorrow. Okay? I'm so curious what you think. You guys are so smart out there. If you guys, if I say I don't know something in the video, quickly scroll down to the comments because they will be somebody very smart in there who knows. <laughs> do you guys do that? I do that when I watch people if they're like, I'm not sure what this is and I'm not sure what it is either. I scroll down fast, see if somebody answered. <laughs> I'm just looking to see if this is marked, you guys. This is really nice. It's silver tone. I don't see a marking. Let's put it on the bust. It's really cute. Uh, let me just do it up. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing it up in front of me instead of in front of you because then it will take double as long. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm almost clasped. Oh boy. I think I put a twist in it. I did. I probably clasped it wrong. Holy moly. There we go. We can get the idea. That's pretty, you guys. I like it. Uh, there's probably a tiny bit, if I'm being picky, of like scratching wear, like the normal stuff. Maybe you could wipe it down. Maybe some hairspray. It's really pretty. Silver tone, not marked. Has good weight. I'm surprised it's not marked. I'm probably missing it. <laughs> Let's get you guys a total length on this one. Total length on this baby is total length on this one. Uh, sorry, it's taking me a second. Uh, 17 inches, you guys. 17 inch total length. And we're going to do it for $5 because we got the deals. We got the deals. Okay. Put the bust back. Here we go. Ooh, these are cool. Um, these are acrylic made to look like turquoise. Silver tone um, earrings. Look at that. That's cool. That little detail. Little triangle on the hook earring. I like it. I like the attention to details. Very nice. Um, should we hit them with a magnet? Because these might be, um, those might be sterling wires. What do you guys think? I think they might be. Uh, I think they might be. So let's test them. What the heck? Let's see if the wires are sterling. Some people need sterling wires. Okay, we've got a pair of post earrings, gold tone. These guys have a little wear, um, so the price will reflect it. I think they need a good cleaning. It always reminds me, you guys know what hairspray looks on jewelry, that looks like, that's what it looks like to me. Um, are they signed? I don't see a signature. I'm just gonna do two, a whopping $2. Do you see that my wedding band's on the wrong hand? <laughs> For some reason, I got this signed right before, uh, signed, sized right before I started making YouTube videos. Um, not because of YouTube videos, just that's my time frame. And I think I just got it a little bit too big, like a half size. So it makes me nervous. I have a ring guard coming in and I keep flipping it think back and forth, back and forth. And I'm like, that is how you lose a ring. Don't you agree? Like you gotta know it's there <laughs> and remember it's there. That's what I think. All right, this is cute, you guys. We got a little disco ball, silver tone, a faux pearl. Very cute. I like it. It it does not, oh, it does have a clasp. I fibbed. There we go, lobster claw, anything on there? Not that I see. I like this one. It's pretty, let's do $4, $4. Okay, let's see what's next. So you guys, just as an example on how well I did on this lot, I'll tell you what I paid. I don't mind telling you. I already, um, halfway through my sales yesterday, I was just making pure profit. These are a little, a little bit worn. Let's do $2. Um, so I was excited. It definitely, uh, definitely was a good buy. Pleasantly surprised. Oh, I said I'd tell you. I paid $200 for it. Um, oh, look at it, guys. Look, it's missing all the faux pearls right there. <laughs> Genuine freshwater pearl pierced. Filene's. Remember Filene's, you guys? 
40 bucks. I think that was my first credit card to Filene's. Not good. <laughs> um, a dollar in craft, you guys. It's got a boo-boo. We've got the bamboo-like bracelet in black enamel over gold tone. Is it marked anywhere? I wouldn't normally check bangles but this is a little fancier bangle and where there's been so much well not so much there's been a good amount of trafari and napier and Monet. we should check seven and three quarter you guys seven and three quarter let's do three dollars that's really pretty so hopefully i can make a good setup and sell you uh show sell you well hopefully i'll sell them but uh show you a couple of handbags i'm pretty excited about that these are nice, guys. These have serious weight. If these are not signed, I'm going to be shocked. Let's see. Does it say something in there? I think it does. Hold on. I'm going to have to look with my loop. I don't know what that is, guys. There's a R-O or P-O. I don't know what that is. A lar they're large letters. Okay, I had to pause the video because of a brinuation. That's a brin situation. <laughs> okay, so I looked at these more closely, and it looks like it's a PC, a capital P, a capital C, and they're kind of like over each other, and I did a quick search. I could not figure it out. If you know, that's cool. Let me know. These are heavy-duty, nice earrings. So I would bet that I'm just not thinking of who that is. It's probably, <laughs> probably someone that I should know. Um, I'm going to do these for $5, you guys. $5. You know how you can feel the weight of good jewelry? That's good jewelry. So is this piece coming up. <laughs> so this chain, safety chain, has become detached from here. It is fixable. Um, I did look at this a little more closely when I was bagging it. Do you see this is off the bracelet a little bit? Um, I know for a fact that I can't do this and the reason is these links are too small for me to see. Um, so if you are able to, that will go back on there. Um, and let's see, how did this open? I can't remember. Look, it has some in, like engraving marks that look like damage marks, but they're on both sides. Isn't that interesting? It's like a faux cloisonne. It's very pretty. I can't remember how it went together. Oh, oh it pressed. That's right. Pressed right there, I think. My fingernail's too big. Serious? You guys, it doesn't open hard. It's me. There it is. It's like um a box clasp. <laughs> Is that what it's called? A press clasp. I, oh my gosh, my braid. Ah! Okay, gold tone, like a faux cloisonne. Very, very beautiful. Not marked except for these little etchy marks, which are so interesting to me. Um, let's get you a size. It's a size seven and a half, you guys. And like I said, you could either cut the safety chain off or if your eyes are better than mine, you could reattach it there. I just know this link is so small for me. I've tried it before and I cannot see. Okay, I'm going to do this one for eight. I think it's worth eight, even with the little damage. It's heavy duty also. It's got a good weight to it. It's probably worth more than eight, actually, I should say. Because we're doing steals of deals. Okay, so this is a little scarab bracelet. Um, it's interesting. Can you guys see that? It has like that little patterning in there. It makes you think of uh, 1928, doesn't it, a little bit? I guess just because it has a pattern <laughs> and 1928 does. Um, I do not see a signature in here. It's very pretty. I believe these are acrylic, you guys, but we'll throw them on the gem tester. They're not super cold to the touch. This is a size eight and a quarter. Let's test this green one because I have a feeling I might know what it is, but I'm not guessing. Mm-mm. They are stones. Yay. Okay. Jadeite. That's what I thought that was going to be. Um, tiger's eye, you guys, which comes up as quartz, if I remember correctly. Okay. Interesting. On the jadeite line again. Could it be jadeite made to look like, geez, made to look like tiger's eye? 
That looks like sodalite. Yeah, that looks like sodalite, I believe. Let's see where sodalite goes. Interesting. Did you get oh, did you guys know that's where sodalite goes? Let me push this off camera so you can actually see the gem tester. Okay, it went somewhere else last time. Hold on. There we go. Soda light. And then this cool pinky one that has like a little blue dot in it. I'm not sure what this is. Have I ever seen this before? I don't know. Okay, that's where they go, guys. Make of that what you will. Um, this is a really nice bracelet. I'm going to do $5 on this also. $5. Okay. Oh, it's like bracelet city, you guys. We hit the bracelet area. So now they had to pause. I have no idea what time I'm at. And I still need to test. And I still need to, I'm looking for a jewelry mark. Da -da. I don't see any. This is really nice also, you guys. Has a little press to undo the clasp. I love the colors on it. I, let me see if you can actually see. Yeah, it's pink and like a light green and gold tone with like a pearlized enamel. Let's see what size it is. Uh, it's a seven. It's a seven, but you don't have to get it over your hand. You can open. A uh, nice hinged bangle, I would call this, I think. Um, let's do $5 on this one too. I think it's really nice. Yeah, so I still have to test and show you a couple purses. So that's not good that I don't know where I am on my counter for time. Oh, guys, I really like this. I remember this piece. Check it out. She's like, um, like a goddess or something, right? With the eagle. Um, feathers, maybe she's meant to look made, uh, native, maybe, maybe a goddess from, um, native. I don't know. I, don't be offended. Cause I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> maybe a goddess from native, um, beliefs. I don't know. It's really cool though. And then there's some really awesome wire wrapping and it goes on to this guy, which feels like natural stone. Oh, look at the clasp. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. I think it says something in there. Should we look? What does it say? I think that goddess is made out of clay. I think somebody made it. Um, let's see. All right. I don't know, guys. I don't know what that says. Let's see if there's anything on this. Was there? No. Okay. I believe these are real stone. And then you get to these guys. Um which look like something I know. Ooh, um, snowflake something? Snowflake? Is it snowflake obsidian? And then these are hematite. I think that's what it might be. Oh, could I be right? And do you think any of this is sterling? Let's check. I mean, it totally could be sterling wire. A lot of people do that. Okay, let's put it up here. That clasp looks like it's sterling. Let's put it up here for the testing. Yesterday, we had all of our items test correctly. No fibbers. Okay, guys, this is a craft piece for a dollar. But I thought I would still show it to you. It is a stretch bracelet that needs restringing. It is really cool. It has all the metal tones. So a dollar in craft. Uh, let me put that down there. Okay. Rin likes to steal my craft jewelry. <laughs> Somebody bought that uh, pearl bracelet that got put in craft yesterday. <laughs> and little did I know, Bryn had come in here while I was filming and grabbed it. I found it downstairs. <laughs> I cleaned it off. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she likes to steal. I'm looking for markings on this clasp. And then I believe this is real turquoise, you guys. Turquoise chips. It is long. It is knotted in between everything. Oh, it's actually um, double knotted in between each piece. That's interesting. And there's some really cool colors in it. It's very, very opera. That's what I was trying to think of yesterday. I said theater length. It's opera, isn't it? Like gloves, opera length gloves. Let's do a little magnet on the clasp. Not magnetic, you guys, so let's test the clasp just so we know what we're looking at. 
and we'll give you a good deal on that one. Another bracelet. We are at the bracelet spot, I guess. Okay. Um, okay, let's see if it's marked. I don't see anything. It's really pretty, like that marbled enamel in like a beigey color, beigey and brown. Really cute. Um, it is an eight, and we'll do it for three dollars. Do you like my rings? I found them in a jewelry bag, and they were together, and I'm like, they're meant to stay together. <laughs> um, this one is a, like a wary ring. I can't think of what they're called. Um, so these bands move. I love it. I would guess that it's, it's supposed to be sterling, but I would guess that it's sterling and gold. And I just love it. An amethyst, I'm guessing. I never test anything when it's mine, only if I'm going to sell it. I don't really care. So I believe Michelle, my friend Michelle out there, Michelle, are you watching? She should be. She usually does. She's usually there every time. I believe that you bought the necklace that matches these earrings. So you might be interested in these. But they're open to everyone. Don't worry. Um, we discovered that the necklace was Liz Claiborne. These are not marked. Um, so I don't think these are. We had thought maybe these pieces were extenders on the necklace. Um, and I'm still going with that, I think. So anyway, um, we'll do these for $3. I think there's tiny wear right there. Do you see it? $3 on those. So, Michelle, that matches your necklace. Pretty sure that it was you that bought it. Um, okay. Got some little beaded earrings. I'm going to show two more pieces after this, then we're going to stop. These are lightweight, you guys. So, if you have a problem wearing um, heavy earrings, these might be for you. Let's get a... No, I didn't think so. Um, yeah, very magnetic. Oh, could you even see that? Probably not. Okay, we're just going to make these $2, you guys. $2 silver tone. Okay. One more after this, and then we'll do some testing. And then hopefully I show you some purses. These could use a wipe down. They are marked RLM Studio. Uh, it's, come on, figure out what way you want to go. There you go. Now, like that. Really pretty. I'm gonna do these. Um, I'm gonna do these for eight, you guys. I know I have a bunch of RLM Studio earrings coming up um, in this lot because I did see that his signature is big for my eyes. I love it. <laughs> okay, last piece. This is Ann Klein. That stands for Ann Klein Ink. Uh, very cute gold and the white. I think this woman loved gold and black and gold and white. Have you noticed? It's beautiful. Um, it's a seven and a half inch drop, you guys. And I'm going to do this one for $4. $4 on the incline. Okay, we're going to stop there. Let's test our pieces. I've got my testing block. Here we go. Um, okay, this one these gorgeous little dangles that I think I know who's someone who's going to love these. I think my mom's friend, Linda, that you guys all had nice thoughts about the end of last week. I appreciate that. She always loves that jewelry, the dainty, um, the dainty, like, could that be real jewelry? Does that make sense? <laughs> okay. And lastly, we're gonna do the clap. Oh, wait. So, because I wanna do, there looks like there's a mark up there. I'm gonna go to the side. So, the clasp for this guy's there. So, I don't like that. That's gonna throw off. I'm gonna hit it with acid so it will go away. Okay, let's do it. You guys got your guesses? Okay, I just made my guess. What's gonna light up? Let's see, 18 karat, here we go. Okay, this is nothing from today, but I want it to go away. And, ta-da! Ooh, guess what? That's interesting, there is a tiny bit of blue in that, but I'm wondering if it's, let's hit the rest of that. Guys, I did not do well. 
huh check that out you guys there is a little bit I don't I didn't think this was sterling guys see how red it's scratching I'm just gonna hit it one more time though to make sure okay yeah that's not sterling I don't know what that little blue is there maybe I had something on my stone and whatever that mark that I wanted to make go away, <laughs> it was sterling, but that's not part of our thing. So I was wrong. I thought um, I thought that this goddess piece might have sterling in it, but it doesn't. Okay, so the clasp on the turquoise is sterling, and these gorgeous little dainty babies are sterling. Okay, well, let's put this aside, and we'll do pricing on these guys, and then we will be moving on. And then I'm going to say bye-bye. And then hello again with some purses. Okay, these gorgeous little dangly babies, um, sterling silver. I would bet those are CZs. Um, let's do them for, let's do $8. $8. And they are signed. I just don't know what that signature is. Okay. If you want to know what it is, rewind. I can't remember. <laughs> and we're just going to do these like faux looking turquoise. I do like the foe of this. Look, they're a good match. These are acrylic. We're going to do these for $3. Then we've got this gorgeous goddess that somebody worked really hard on. I'm so wondering if that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, nothing is sterling on here, but it's absolutely stunning. Someone worked so hard on this. Um, let's do $5 on it. $5. And lastly, the turquoise, the very long, probably opera length turquoise. Look at that. That's a lot of turquoise uh, with the sterling um, clasp. Why can't I think of what this clasp is called? Oh, you guys, what the heck? It says something. You see it? I think it says 925, maybe Thailand. Let's we'll see. Yep. 925. Uh, actually, it says something in the beginning of the 925. SX925 Thailand. I didn't even see that last time. Toggle. Toggle clasp. There we go. Um, okay, let's do... I'm going to do 12 on this, you guys. $12. Okay. $12. I think that's a good deal. All right, so we are gonna stop there and hopefully in one second, you're gonna see purses. If you don't, bye, thanks for watching. <laughs> if you could subscribe, guys, I would appreciate it so, 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 so much. You have no idea. All right, thank you. Okay, take two. <laughs> you can see a little bit of my very um, purple wall here. It's this very nice, lovely plum color. Um, but I gave up trying to adjust this further. <laughs> So this is not a handbag, you guys. This is that jewelry case, travel jewelry case I tried to show you in the last video. It came with the jewelry we were just looking at. There is animal hair in here. This is not from my house. <laughs> it's not my glitter, but I'm going to share it. <laughs> Lots of zippered pouches. This piece can snap out if you'd like it to. I didn't test if the snaps work. They do. So you can use, use this piece or not. It's up to you. Um, some more zipper pockets, some more zipper pockets, and then here's where we get to the not so awesome. This one works. These three are not attached anymore, and we have some wear here. Okay, so it's just gonna be four bucks, four dollars, and it's gonna be number 62 if anybody's interested. I'm sorry I bonked the camera. This is definitely a learning curve, you guys. Okay, I have a Kate Spade. Isn't she cute? So, um, I have never seen a Kate Spade with the shiny over the um, Safiana leather. Um, but I did do my checks to see if it was real. One of them you guys could know about is the T in Kate is always over the N in New York. And the D, um, excuse me, the A in Spade is always over the K. So, I believe it's real. Um, it's a nice, like, satchel style. It's really pretty, ready for spring. Maybe a couple little marks, you guys. I was going to carry this. This came out of my collection, but I am I did a big purge and tried to downsize, so I've not carried it, which is a bummer, but that's okay. I'm hoping to pass it on to somebody who loves it. 
So, um, one thing about my purse collection is I stuff everything, you guys. Even though it's going in my closet, I do stuff it. My light just turned off. Did you see that? <laughs> the light change? I have no idea why that just turned off. <laughs> All right, stuff things out. Um, let's look at the bottom. The corners are perfect on this guy. It honestly kind of feels like people, somebody didn't really carry this. Um, it's really, really pretty. Okay, here we go. Um, it's got the Kate Spade logo um, fabric on the inside. It says New York, New York. Some slip pockets. I do have the shoulder strap. This snaps to here, and then you have a zipper pouch in the middle. And then a big open pouch with a zip here. And then your Kate Spade logo with the gold embossed here. It's a really nice bag, you guys. I This bag I pulled out to show you because I want spring badly. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys have room where you store your purses, stuff them. It makes a big difference, especially. So for me, I like to buy purses, use them, resell them, buy new purses, use them, resell them. That's not to say that I don't have a bunch in my closet. There's a lot. A ridiculous amount in my closet, if I'm being honest. Um, but it allows me better to resell them after. They stay in better shape. They hopefully don't get folds and lines in them. Um, that being said, these are not stored. Most of these are not stored this way because I don't have enough room to store the ones for sale. But little tip little tip with your personal collection um so i'm gonna do this one for 50 guys five zero fifty dollars and it is going to be number 63 this isn't so bad you guys gotta let me know if you're seeing everything okay it's not so bad for me my arms are okay i know i'm only still showing like three bags but um my arms are okay so far so this is a cute bag i actually have it in a pink i'm not showing the pink today a pink and a charcoal. It kind of looks like a little messenger bag. This one's the charcoal. Um, here's the Kate Spade. Again, the T's over the N, the A's over the K. Um, that's a good tell. This is a functioning pocket with magnets. There's your Kate Spade New York fabric. Um, I didn't have a ton of stuffing up here right now. <laughs> so it does need a little love on the stuffing part, but it's a good size satchel. This is another one that I was gonna carry and decided not to. So let's pull out the stuffing. Ugh. I believe I do have the shoulder strap for this one too. I do, here it is. It's in pretty good shape. Uh, I don't see any problems with it. Uh, the hardware's in good shape. Uh, okay, then let's see here. There is your zipper. And there's a thread hanging right here. No big deal. You can clip that. It's one big open uh, inside with two slips and a zip. There's your logo again. And here is your tag. I didn't show you the tag on the floral purse. I should check if it's there. Oops, out of camera. I'm sorry, you guys. Again, give me a little grace on this one. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, there you go. And if my voice is louder than the jewelry, I apologize. It's because I have to sit closer to the camera, to the phone. Um, there looks to me like there might be a tiny mark right here and right here. Just want to point those out. Overall in really good condition though. Corners are good. Bottom is great. It's a nice bag. I'm going to do this one for $40. $40. And it's gonna be number, hello, Bryn. It's gonna be number 64, $40. Okay, I have a duty for you. Oh, let me look at, here, you can look at something pretty. Bryn, what are you doing? I'm looking for the tag, oh, here it is. I'm looking for the tag in the floral, just so I can show you. There it is. Okay, just wanted to make sure I showed that. Okay, we have a Dooney. This is not stuffed. It's kind of like that domed satchel look. I'm sorry, I pulled all satchels. Bad me. But anyway, that's what I did. Um, it is like that beigey cream color that Dooney does with the chestnut leather. Bottom is excellent. Corner has a tiny bit of wear, but this is not bad. If you put some leather conditioner on that, it, you probably won't be able to see that one. 
Same with here. Same with here. Same here. So all four corners need a little conditioner. Um, it's a really nice bag. There's your Juni label. It's not even really scratched up. Uh, handles are nice. Very nice. Anything on the back? Not that I can see. Maybe a tiny mark right there. But if I'm honest, I, I did this kind of spur of the moment and didn't clean these. Um, so when I first started collecting purses, there's the interior, guys. It comes with the Dooney dust cover. Okay. Here is the shoulder strap. It is adjustable. Crossbody or shoulder, I would say. Um, oh, that's what I was going to say. I kind of like just, here's your key fob tried every kind of style and now I just oh gross would you like these what is that is it nail glue what is this guys oh you can't even see jeepers I'm so sorry hopefully I haven't been off camera the whole time lubricant eye drops okay I see and a nail file <laughs> okay so you got two little slips this one has a little tab cover a big slip down here and a zip pocket. There's your Dooney and Burke right there. And the interior is super nice on this one. And I want to find the little tag. Here it is. Can you see it? The tag. <laughs> this is Kristen D. I give you props. This is like contortionist work. <laughs> There's the number, guys. I swear it's there. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I will I will throw away the trash. I won't send it. And I'm going to do this one for... I'll do this one for 45 also. 45. And this one is number 65. So let's see how purses do. I'm so excited. <laughs> so anything... Anyway, what I was saying is that I realized um, when I started collecting purses, I bought like every kind of style and kind of tried them out. But I have really honed in. Satchels are my thing. This time I pulled out all satchel style. Sorry about that. I'll be better about that next time. Um, but they're really, I like a structured satchel style bag. Or if I'm shopping, um, junking, you know, yard sailing, I want a crossbody. There is a string hanging on this one. You gotta clip it. Um, and I might not remember, so that's why I'm showing you. Okay, you guys, um, your bags will come to you not stuffed, just to not add extra weight for shipping. And I'm so excited to have done purses with you. It's so exciting. All right, talk to you later. Bye.